We have just two sneaks left. Now, we've shown you sneaks around coding, um, working with pictures, with um, online shopping, video. We haven't looked at audio yet. Now, audio is an interesting one, because ideally, when you record audio, you want to be in a perfect studio setting and so you can mix and work with the audio later on. What if that isn't the case? What if you have audio that's less than ideal and you want to do post-processing? Well, Nick has been experimenting with a very innovative way to play with audio. Take a look at this. All right, hello. Uh, so today, I want to talk to you about audio layers. Uh, a new audio editing tool that allows you to take a, a single audio recording and separate it into multiple layers, Nick, similar to the concept. Nick, I just want to say thank you for making an effort. <laughs> you like the tie? Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. All of these Thanks for noticing. T shirt and sweatshirt ne'er do wells, I really appreciate you putting a little effort into it, huh? Looking good. <laughs> Looking good, buddy. All right, so back, back to the demo. We're, that, we're working. That outfit says, not a coder. <laughs> <laughs> we're working with a, a new tool that you can take a single recording and separate it into multiple layers, similar to the concept of layers in Photoshop, but in our case, for sound. Um, so let's take a look at our audio layers program. What we have here is something that looks like a standard multi-track audio editor, where you have audio transport control to start and stop. You have display control to zoom in, zoom out. And you have mute, solo, and volume control for each track. And in this case, I have three tracks here. Over the course of this demo, we hope to show that this is something quite different from a standard multi-track editor. So for our first example, what we're going to do is load in a single recording of multiple sounds. In this case, I have a recording of speech mixed with the cell phone ringing in the background. So let's take a listen. And the sound is not on. I'm working. Oh, there. Alpha male. Jackhammer. Merciless. I All right, we listen to three words. Hardworking. Alpha male. Jackhammer. All right. So what you heard there, we have some perfectly executed acted speech in the background. Yes. And we ha we have this very annoying cell phone ring. What we'd like to do is remove that cell phone ring, maybe caused by an assistant or a producer that Impossible. had their phone on. Impossible. Impossible. <laughs> so what we're going to do. There's no way you're going to be able to do that. We're going to remove that cell phone ring, and we're going to take drawing and painting like tools, so similar to Photoshop or Illustrator. In this case, uh, a paintbrush tool. I'm going to make it a little wider here. Take the color yellow, and I'm going to draw on this, this visualization of sound, which depicts time from left and right and frequency from bottom to top. So I'll take my paintbrush tool. I'm going to just draw on one of these horizontal lines here. In this case, there are six horizontal lines, and those six lines correspond well, to the dude. six rings of that cell phone throughout the recording. And just with that, I'm going to just scribble on one of those, one of those lines. I'm going to extract the layers, and I'll have the cell phone layer show up in the middle, and the speech layer will show up on the bottom. And now we can just listen to that separated speech by itself. How would I describe myself? Three words. Hardworking, alpha male. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's impressive. All right, that's, that's really exciting. We can take a single recording and separate it into different layers, like Photoshop, by just but drawing. Is, this real? is that real? That's real. It, all right, so this is that's a. That's all put on for this demonstration. This is not. So no I have, a, I have a special. Real. Ben, for real? It's that, real. Well, he'll show you another example. I have, I have a special real. demo just to combat that. So we have a, a, a short video clip from our lovely host, Mary Lynn, here singing and playing guitar when she was a uh, guest star on the Gilmore Girls. Oh, no. All right, so we, we really like that, that song there, right? It was you should get a, into singing more. A, a great clip. And so if, if you're at home and you really like the song, you might want to do shops. something creative with it, potentially remix this track. One of the first things you want to do to make a remix is to take that single recording of vocals mixed with guitar and separate it into different layers. So what I have here, I'm going to load in uh, a pre-done example where I've annotated, well, I've first taken the audio off of that video recording. I've taken the audio, I've loaded into my layers program. I've dr drawn it with uh, different colors to annotate the guitar and the vocals in that recording. And then I've separated the guitar and the vocals into separate layers. So let's listen to the original again. And now, in the second layer, the second track, we can listen to just the extracted guitar. And now just the vocals. All right. It's wow. Cool. Yeah. That's amazing. So once they're, once they're separated now, we can play them back together. And we can change the volume level of each one independently. So we can turn the guitar up, 
bunch of the guitar down, and we can create our remix. So if with that, I'll end the Could you put a demo. little, like, Mariah thing a little in there? <laughs> we put some, we, we'll throw a little auto-tune on there. Mm -hmm. Well, you don't need it, but we, we could if we, if, if we wanted to. So Put in 10,000 extra notes, basically. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, if, so. I, don't buy, I don't buy this, because honestly, if you've managed to do this, then you are going to completely change the whole editing and sound editing process. Well, we hope so. Of the we world. hope so. Sure. So, yeah. so, how much seriously do you, does he get a bonus if he <laughs> if he makes this real? We'll have to talk to his manager That's about it. that. Yeah. He has a manager. Yeah. Oh, you mean like a project manager? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, stay tuned. Hopefully, we see something come in the future. So, thank you. Uh, that You're impressed uh, with that one. Nick. That's amazing. All right.